Hello everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti working here as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we will see how to configure for project calendar and its periods. Now move to our next slide. So what project calendar setups do? It manage calendars, accounting period statuses and project accounting period statuses used for costing, budgeting, forecasting, billing, and project performance reporting. Calendars can be weekly, monthly, quarterly, or any other time period as per your business requirement. In the project module, there is a special functionality available that only for project that we can use an accounting period other than general ledger accounting period. It means in the project module, we can use the calendar other than the calendar that we are using in the accounting period for general ledger. Now for configuring the setup of accounting period for project, we have to select the task that is configure project accounting business function. And it can be find out in the function area project organization. And for managing the accounting period, you have to go to the task that is manage accounting period for project financial management. It can be used in the scenario where you, where you are using the same accounting period as in the GL ledger. Now, if you want to use the specific accounting period, then you have to select the task that is manage project accounting period. Now we will move to our application to see these setup there. Change the offering here. Go to setup and maintenance. This is our FSM page. Now change the offering here. Select it as project financial management. And now go to project organization. Here you can see the task available that is configure project accounting business function. Click on it. Now you can see here in the accounting period field, there is a checkbox available that asks for use different accounting and project accounting periods. It means if you enable this checkbox, it will mean that you have to use the specific project accounting calendar that is different from general ledger accounting period. So from here, you can uh, do the setup for this. Now click on save and close, or you can also click on cancel. I didn't enable that checkbox. Now from where you can manage these accounting periods, you have to go to the functional area project foundation. Click on it all task. You can see here we have two tasks that is manage accounting periods for project financial management and the other task is manage project accounting periods. So this is the first task that is manage accounting period for project financial management. You will use this task to manage the periods in the scenario where you are using the same accounting calendar for GL and project. And if in case you are using the different accounting calendar for project, you have to select this task. Now I am selecting the first one. In the application, you have to select the project foundation. It work on the basis of ledger. So my ledger is US primary ledger. Go to it. Now click on it. You can see the accounting periods that are open here. This is the future entryable. And these are the calendars period. Now if I want to close it, I can close it from here. And if I want to open the new, I can open it from here. 
so this is the common setup for every sub ledger from here you can manage the periods in the accounting calendar now click on done again click on done click on manage project accounting period this setup will use when you are using the accounting calendar that is specifically used for project this is the functionality which is available only for project sub ledger this is not available for any of the other sub ledgers now it work on the basis of business unit level select your business unit here so you can see these tabs are disabled they are not enabled because i haven't clicked on that checkbox that we have seen in our first step we have uh, using the same accounting uh, period or you can say same accounting calendar for project and the uh, gl purpose if i will enable that checkbox then these tabs will be enabled now you can see this it is written common accounting and project accounting periods that means you are using the same accounting periods for both the purposes that's why these tabs are disabled here when you will enable that checkbox this will be enabled this is how you can manage the accounting periods thank you so much for watching the video